Section 85 of the Companies Act 1956 defines preferential capital. Preferential capital means with reference to any company limited by shares, whether formed before or after the commencement of this Act, that part of the share capital of the company which fulfills both the following requirements, namely a. That as respects dividends, it carries or will carry a preferential right to be paid a fixed amount or an amount calculated at a fixed rate, which may be either free of or subject to income tax and b. That as respects capital, it carries or will carry on a winding up or repayment of capital, a preferential right to be repaid the amount of the capital paid up or deemed to have been paid up, whether or not there is a preferential right to the payment of either or both of the following amounts, namely 1. Any money remaining unpaid in respect of the amount specified in clause A up to the date of the winding up or repayment of capital and 2. Any fixed premium or premium on any fixed scale specified in the memorandum or articles of the company. Explanation. Capital shall be deemed to be preference capital notwithstanding that it is entitled to either or both of the following rights namely 1. That as respects dividends in addition to the preferential right to the amount specified in clause A it has a right to participate whether fully or to a limited extent with capital not entitled to the preferential right aforesaid 2. That as respects capital in addition to the preferential right to the payment on a winding up of the amount specified in clause B it has a right to participate, whether fully or to a limited extent, with capital not entitled to that preferential right in any surplus which may remain after the entire capital has been repaid. Subsection 2. Equity share capital means with reference to any such company or share capital which is not preferential share capital. Subsection 3. The expressions preference share and equity share shall be construed accordingly. Mm -hmm.